If you ever had trouble with stretch textures like these, I will show you the best and fastest way on how to get rid of the stretching. Here we have our little demonstration setup. On the left, the textures are based on the UVs of the cube, well, really stretched cube. And on the white, we have them aligned based on the world. So what does that mean? On the left, the textures are based on the UVs you give to the cube. So if you scale the cube in the Z, so up and down, the UVs get stretched. That's why your texture looks like this. On the white, they are based on the world. Let me show you what I mean. This is a very simple setup, a normal texture setup, base color, normal and roughness, and that's on the left cube. On the white, we have a little bit more advanced setup. We have a parameter, we have texture objects, so that's basically if you just right click a texture sample and then you convert it to a texture object. And then we have world aligned textures, one here, and one here, and a world aligned normal. To get these, you just right click and search for world aligned, and then you have world aligned normal and world aligned texture. So you connect your base color and your roughness to the texture input of the world aligned texture, and your normal gets connected to the texture object in the world aligned normal. And after that, you put the X, Y, and Z texture in the slots of your material. So the base color, the normal, and the roughness, and whatever else you want to use. To get this tile parameter, or whatever you want to call it, you just hold down the one on your keyboard and left click, and then you have your little value bar. You right click it and convert it to a parameter and give it a name like tile. And under default value, you give it a number. So let's say 350. And then we connect all the outputs with this input. And if we now hit save, and if we change this number to, let's say, 200, we can see the texture is scaling. So let's put it on 400 and try something. If we now scale this cube, we can see the texture is scaling perfectly with the cube. And if we now go back in our shader and maybe put it on 650, the texture is scaling and it's still tileable. So we can put whatever we want in here and it's perfectly tileable. And if you're interested in seeing another cool trick for your textures, so if you only can afford one texture for your for your scene or for your project, make sure to check out this video where I show you a trick on how to break the pattern of your repeating texture.